All right, everyone, we have three topics we need to talk about in today's Chelsea news. Now, that's going to be the injury report, which, again, the season hasn't even started. We're already picking up massive injuries. We're also going to be talking about the training session in the formation that Pochettino went with. And along with that, we are going to be talking about our preseason match today against Wrexham. Now, up first, let's talk about the injury report, which I want to know what you guys think with Chelsea's injuries, because it seems like we have been always rattled with injuries since the time I can remember. It seems like Chelsea always have injuries. And if you did not see, Wesley Fofano will be most likely missing the entire season with a rupture to his ACL, which again, I wish the best for this player, but seems like injuries keep taking a toll on that player and who knows how he will be after that injury. Now, that all being said though, that does open the door for Cowell, which again, I think will be a solid player, but I wanna know, do you think Cowell will be a perfect match for us this season if he does stick around at Chelsea? Because he did well at Brighton and I think he, if he has the opportunity to start at Chelsea and have plenty of game times, he will definitely elevate and definitely play well with Thiago Silva, who we all know, yes, he's going to be 40, but he is a rock star when it comes to defending. So therefore, I think anyone pairing with him is going to do quite well. But Thiago Silva with his age, again, is questionable because we do not know he may pick up an injury and that could be devastating for Chelsea. Now, along with uh, with the ACL injury to Wesley Fofana, we also have Battish Shield missing as of right now, Reese James, um, who else is it? Broya and Bentinelli. So again, we have already five players out, which again, quite remarkable. The fact that we haven't had our first preseason game, we already have five players missing out. It's going to be a little bit questionable to our physio, but like I said, maybe some of these players are just taking some more rest to, again, not rush them back or anything. But like I said, we haven't even had our first match, and therefore, again, it is questionable. Now, the second thing I did want to talk about is the formation that we saw Pochettino utilize in our training yesterday. He went with a 3-3-3-1. Now, this is very unique because not a whole lot of teams run this formation. Yes, we've seen some of our fullbacks, and not just at Chelsea, but other clubs, move those fullbacks into the midfield and, again, apply pressure. It seems like this is probably going to be more common this season, especially since Pochettino didn't it last season? I feel like Pochettino is always the trailblazer. Once he does something, a lot of teams are trying to catch up to him. And it seems like we may be doing something very similar to having him. It's Reese James, he's fully fit. Gusto, if he's fit, chill while they're there. They're going to move up into that midfield. And we're going to have a back three with Thiago Silva, Colwell, and whoever that other side is going to be. Again, that could be Reese James. That could be Gusto. That could be Chilwell, Cucurella, any of those players. But then moving one of those players up into our midfield. This, again, is going to allow us to overload the midfield, which is going to be great. But also, is going to allow us to apply pressure to the opposing teams, which we all know that Pochettino loves doing. This is why he's been doing the training, the beep test, the Gosson test, if you want to call it, because we're trying to get players fully fit. And I want to know what you guys think. You think the 3 3 3 1 will be a good tactic style for Pochettino and Chelsea for us to dominate the midfield and also win the ball back because if we can capitalize on errors from other teams, this will lead us to scoring goals, which again, if we can start scoring goals, which Hopefully we can do that this season. That will lead us to winning more games. But like I said, this is kind of a newer type system because a lot of times it's a 3-2-2 type thing. So again, curious what you guys think about the 3-3-3-1. And the last thing we need to talk about is our preseason match against Wrexham tonight. This is going to be the first preseason match. So again, looking forward to this. It looks like we're going to get a few of our new signings to play tonight. And Cuckoo and Jackson looks like they will be starting for Chelsea. I don't know how many minutes they'll be getting this game. And again, this is just slowly incorporating all these players in. So don't expect too much. Even if we go out and don't score a single goal, I'm not going to be totally upset because right now we are tinkering with the starting 11. Pochettino is fully understanding how all these players are going to incorporate because, yes, this still is a fairly young squad, but also some of these newer players coming in and trying to get them to gel together. It's going to be very difficult. And Wrexham, who just came off promotion, obviously are going to be playing for something just because they are playing in the preseason. It still means a lot for them to come and beat Chelsea, even though it's a preseason game. So, again, Chelsea right now are trying to just get everything going in the right direction, gelling all the players. Yes, it's going to be great if we can score goals and win this game, but that is not the full take. Again, if the players look well and we do not win the game, I'd rather be happy that we look better and actually do something than, again, being clueless in this entire match. But we will see what happens in this match. I, again, I'm going to tune in. We'll probably have a video after the match, whether that's later today or tomorrow, talking about what we noticed in that match. So that is all I have for you today in this video. If you did enjoy this content, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that, and I will see you in our next video.